first step is to get your tree model. Uh, if you don't have a tree model, I have a tutorial on my channel, which I'll link in the description, and I'll also have it in the iCard in the top. But if you do have it, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have the origin for the tree at the bottom of the tree. And you can tell that by if see this orange dot right here. If that's at the very bottom of the tree, you're good. If it's not, if it's somewhere like up top or something, you're going to want to go to the cursor, click on the bottom of the tree, go to the object tab in the top uh, left, and then under set origin, set origin to the 3D cursor. And that'll just set the origin of the tree to the bottom. So once you do have that, head to the modifiers tab and add a simple deform modifier. Uh, this is the modifier that's actually going to bend the tree and give it motion, like kind of like it's being blown in the wind. If your leaves are particle systems, you're going to want to move the particle system to last so that the simple deform affects the particle system. Because if you have the particle system above it, uh, the particle system won't be affected by any of the deforms we do. Okay, and now that you have that, uh, switch the deform type to bend. And now go to the start of your timeline. And under the angle, to, we're going to want to add a keyframe. And so go to the first frame of your animation and click I over angle. And now go to the last frame and click I over angle. Okay, once you have that, uh, go to the animation tab and switch it from dope sheet to graph editor. And on the graph editor, we can click on this which is our uh, modifier keyframes. And then we can click N. Let's see if that's selected. Go under modifiers, click add modifier, and we're gonna add a noise modifier. So if we play the animation right now, it's very fast and it's not very strong. So we're gonna wanna mess with that a bit. So if you wanna mess with the amount that the tree is swaying side to side, that would be the strength. So I'm gonna can I expand this? Yeah. I'll expand this. So if you mess with the strength, that's how much it goes side to side. So if I play this, you'll see how much farther it goes. And then if you want to make it uh less fast, if you want to make the animation slower, then mess with the scale. So bring the scale up will actually make it uh slower, and bring the scale down will make it faster. So by modifying these two things you can create kind of a tree wind animation. So I'm going to bring the strength down and should give me a nice swaying motion. You might notice that the leaves are freaking out a bit. I'll fix that later. Okay. So I'm going to mess with this a bit. Okay, that's a bit too much strength. You don't want too much strength or else it just looks fake. So... And that's the same with speed, too. You don't want the speed to be too fast. That looks fake. Okay, so that's just a nice way. Okay, cool. So now once we have that, I'm going to duplicate the simple deforms. And I'm going to change one of them to the y-axis. I'm going to change the other one to the z-axis. And now I'm going to go back to the layout, and I'm going to add a... Uh, the keyframes to the new modifiers. So over angle, click I on the new ones. Go to the last frame, click I. Do it again. Go to the first frame, click I. Last frame, click I. And I'm going to go back to the animation tab. And I'm going to click on the one that I haven't done. So I haven't done green. So I'm going to go to modifiers and add noise modifier. And I'm just going to give it roughly the same attributes as I gave uh, this one. And now do the same for your other one. So I'm going to give it a noise. I'm going to scale it up. Bring the strength down a bit. And you can see when we play this, we should already have a pretty nice tree animation. And I might not be able to tell much because of the leaves. But, uh... If you do have the leave particle system, then to fix that, all you need to do is go into particle settings, uh, check mark the advanced tab, check mark the rotation tab, and then under the orientation axis, 
go to and select normal. And then once you do that, it'll just kind of make everything pretty uniform. So you go to the randomize and then face it a bit. If you want to make it a bit windier, you can also add, you can go to your leaf that you're using as your particle system, go to the modifier, and go to wave, and uh, make sure cyclic is checked, go to time, offset it to like, I think negative 100, because for some reason the wave doesn't start immediately. So offset it to like negative 129. Or maybe something even higher, yeah. Two negative two thirty six, that's probably good. And then as you can see in our leaf or in our tree animation, the leaves are actually moving. 